what's going on everyone, this is Jacques here. <clears throat> Welcome back to uh, Half-Life, uh, Opposing Force. Also, are those things always that blue? Because I remember them being sort of tealish. Oh hey, look! There's G-Man. Can I shoot him? I can, but it doesn't seem to do, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Um those light orb thingy my bobbers which interestingly they're going into that little compartment where G man is so are they are they related to G man Because if they are, I mean, I kind of suspected, but like, yeah, in like the last couple of episodes, there have been like these weird light orb things that have been seemingly guiding us. And uh, also, I think I remember this place. This might be, yeah, might be the same place, I don't know. Um... <laughs> Um, but, uh, and, oh, he's stuck. No wonder he's not moving. Killed him. fixture. Have I made myself stuck? Mm. 
Cause that won't do. That won't do at all. See that last time. something you can walk on, but I can't seem to... out of here alive we've got no choice but to fight our way out let's go
Uh oh. Well, it was better than what I did last time. Or how I did last time. Hang on a second. <coughs> I got I got something. I'm curious. So those orbs and such, they're going into the portal with him. Ow. I don't know what those black ops are up to, but it doesn't involve getting us out of here alive. We've got no choice but to fight our way out. Let's go! Okay. off the music. I check, you know. Yeah. 
Mortars or something. Yep. Hmm. Also experiencing a bit of a drop in performance, <coughs> which is no bueno. First, uh, order anime we've encountered. shotgun that much love in a while. Oh. <laughs>
Beat you at your own game, buddy boy. Mr. Black Ox. Adrian, is that you? Listen, we're holed up across the mortar field, but we're pinned down by a group of black ops. We'll open the bunker door, but you better get over here quick. Bunker door. Got it. Adrian, that's what he said. We're pinned down by a group of black ops. We'll open the bunker door, but you better get over here quick. Or else what? Okay. the results. an engineer nearby. Oh. Are you an engineer? seem to be anything useful though. Ow. So I might just explore this and if there's not really anything useful I'll just like go back to my quick save or my and uh Take it. 
I guess. Uh, let me... Because it sounded like I incurred some damage. Is this like nighttime for Zen or something? appear in like an electrical field and stuff that's them entering or exiting a portal I guess I mean obviously but like you know specifically like what I'm doing there like I'm exiting entering and exiting a portal from within Zen So from a human's perspective, when I appear, that's just me, uh, like I'm a, I'm a Xenos. <laughs> Alright, uh... Huh? Oh. Interesting. Okay. I could just have this armed, you know. you played yourself. Aha! I do get to use this. <clears throat> awesome. You're the exact same ones, huh? Fascinating. <clears throat> Yay, we get to do another one of those airstrike uh, puzzle thingamabobbers. That is not what I meant to hit, but hey. Nice shot. Okay.
Hee <laughs> hee, mortar go boom. Can't reach the uh, can't reach the tank or the the APC. The garage door won't open, but. Howdy, neighbor. Oh, You seem a little stuck there. I realize I'm, I haven't really been talking as much. I don't know. Just taking it all in. I just need more of my uh, cranberry juice Tennessee fire cocktail. The loading barrier actually acts as an invisible wall. Ah! Uh, I always forget about that. Dang it! Performance. 
Yikes! Ow, 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 ow. Wait, hang on a second. I have a... I have a weapon for this. Problem. Or a solution to this problem, you could say. <laughs> All right, let's try that again without getting killed or hurt. Because I know it's possible. It's the simple things in life you cherish. Like being able to get through a certain section of a video game without taking damage, apparently. Oh, hey! Dog on it. So that's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. It's a head crab. I figured. Awfully resilient, ain't ya? Alright, you know what? cost-effective. <laughs> well, as I said in the previous Half-Life, uh, or in the my Half-Life playthrough, you give me the option of quick-saving and quick-loading, I will abuse the heck out of that. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. What did I even 
I can almost go back to Zen. That's a cool little mechanic, just, you know, being able to... Just as pure, like, just as an option, you know, you can collect enough ammo for your portal gun. And you can go to Zen, if you want. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Maybe those exploded. occur to you in 3D platforming where you're supposed to go. Hello. Can I move this? No. It looked like a chimney anyway, so of course you can't move it. How do you get over there, you think? Do I have to shut the power off? stuff. Got any more of that up here? Tiles at times, which is pretty neat. Okay. 
Confrontation <clears throat> going on down there, apparently. Yeah, yeah maybe I should use the M60. <clears throat> Use the M60 and do it well, that is. I just realized that I'm at, yeah, still at 100. Well, you know, after loading and reloading again, you know. Really that, whoa, whoa. Hi. Surprising that I don't need any rockets because I used one. Did I not?
It's giving me a rocket, though. Silencing technique. Silence people in the loudest way possible. Like a. By bomb, I'm assuming. He's talking about a nuke. Woo! Well, that was close. But I uh, was afraid I put myself in a uh, paradox, a save paradox. Instructions for a uh, Mark IV thermonuclear device. This device carries a grade C plutonium control detonator. With this device, an approximate safe distance of 55 kilometers is recommended. Step one, indispose the gravitronic rev limiter to 11. Step two, rotate red knob. To the on position. Step three: press uh, press button labeled B. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I did wonder. If there was some dialogue I was missing. Be careful with that thing. One false move and this whole facility is gone. I'm getting covered. You just keep your eyes open. There's still some targets running around out there. That was a close one. You better get in here. It's not going to be easy from here on out. The only way out is through the level 4 storage unit, but it's a mess down there. The Black Ops were using it as a staging point until the aliens came in. If you do make it through, make sure you have them come back for us.
I can go back to Zen now. Target practice. Another claymore. I really need to use claymores because I, I never use them. That's G Man. Uh, of course. Just what do you think you're doing, Buster? Anyway. Um, I can now go back to Zen. But, uh, not sure if it's gonna be worth it. Hey, G-Man! Wanna see a trick? Here, here, look at me, look at me, look at me. These look very similar to the, uh, Phazoids from, uh, Prime 3, or rather, you know, other way around, the, the Phazoids look very similar to those, whatever those are. Well, that wasn't worth it. <clears throat> um... Worlds collide. As if they haven't already. Is that a chick assassin? Assassins are here. Oh, guy, I was really close, too. That's what you get. No, I wasn't close at all. Oh, <laughs>
That took care of him. So jarring. Not sure jarring is the word I'm looking for though. I see. Just wanted to say, and also just give myself some peace and quiet. Is this?
awesome, awesome. Ah. Frickity dude. grenade looks like it's more of those orbs So, not only did my game crash, but when I tried to reload the quick save, um, or, or the auto save, uh, it would crash again. Uh, so I had to go back to an earlier save, um, and it seems to be working so far, but... I just noticed the uh, pendulums, or the, yeah, the boxes aren't swaying at the same rate. Hehehehehehe. 
Yay! Not again. And again. Fight it out. Let them fight. Oh, ow. Yay! Sneeze didn't hurt. It was, um... Wedding grass, eh? Listen, you've got to get down below. There's something coming through, and it's the nastiest looking thing yet. Some of your buddies went down there a while ago, and I haven't seen them since. I've got some weapons I've piled up in here. You better take as much as you can carry, because I think this is it. Good luck, Corporal. Oh. Is this the final fight? Already? again.
We'll go ahead and call it there. Is that a... No, it's a rope. Oh, that's a healing pool. It's those fine or it's those glowing orbs again. Is that a portal? So that's why there's a healing pool here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this looks like a final boss, all right. What was my previous? Okay. I don't even know if that's visible. Huh. best not to hit the uh... ah yeah I wondered I wondered I'm like okay there's one on both sides here oh frick alright come on fire be a problem. At least in the case of uh, fighting Nihilanth, the chapter itself had a uh, 
had, had his name. Um, in this case, I have no idea what this thing is called. All I know, it's just the Alpha Zen Monster. Oh, I got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Um... Just a little afraid to quick save. Just because I don't know if I'm actually making progress or not. Yeah, that seems to be doing something. So, I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh, frick, he, uh... Okay, I think I'm making progress. Ah! You know what else, you know what else is making progress? This guy on my health. Yeah, all right. Give me that sweet health. Okay. Well, call it. Oh, this is going to be complicated. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, of course, of course. Um... Uh, no, wrong one. Uh, the barnacle, the barnacle. That's not a bad gun to switch to, though. Oh, right. Yeah, this is the real thing that's called Barney. <laughs> you know what, actually?
Okay, I'm assuming... Okay, this is kind of like the situation with Nihilant. Like, I, I found myself in situations where I was like... You know, because I wasn't sure if I was hurting him or not. I think I am. I think I'm hurting him, though. Uh, let me save it. Come on. Okay, yeah. The map is changing, so... That tells me that I'm progressing. Facility, but I think that's finally taken care of itself. Quite so. But there is still the lingering matter of witnesses. I admit I have a fascination with those who adapt and survive against all odds. They rather remind me of myself. If for no other reason, I have argued to preserve you for a time. While I believe a civil servant like yourself understands the importance of discretion, my employers are not quite so trusting, and rather than continually subject you to the irresistible human temptation of telling all, we have decided to convey you somewhere you can do no possible harm and where no harm can come to you. Oh, I'm sure you boy. can imagine there are worse alternatives. Well, well, yeah. So that's what Aiden was saying about Shepard's whereabouts or something. Hinted that he didn't die, but didn't say what happened to him. Hmm. Well, yeah, if you're watching this, I decided to add it to uh, the previous episode. Just because... Well, I've only been recording for 15 minutes, so... <sighs> yeah! That was, uh... Um... Half-Life Opposing Force. I really enjoyed it. Uh... Had a lot of fun with it. Felt... It felt like I was playing Half-Life still, you know? So... You know? Um... Yeah, especially now that I... <laughs> Mike Shapiro, look at that. Since I know the context of, like, G-Man and stuff, I, like... Or, you know, I've, like, been spotting him everywhere throughout my playthrough of Half-Life, the base game, as well as, you know, throughout this game. Like, whenever he showed up, I think I... I think I've spotted him every time, but... Yeah, so Adrian Shepard isn't dead, but he's not exactly 
Um, I mean, you know, he's, uh, as I said, status detained. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. There are two endings to this game, interestingly enough. One is this one, of course, and then the other one was that secret ending you could get from following Freeman into the portal uh, to Zen. <laughs> Which is interesting. Uh, but yeah. Hmm. I've seen space bar. Still does that. Hmm. I wonder if something happens if I just let this sit for a bit. Just chew on a dark uh, nature valley bar, or excuse me, a dark chocolate peanut and almond. And some spicy beef jerk. Okay, yeah, so nothing happens if you just let it sit here for a bit. Okay. Well, maybe I just haven't waited long enough, but I'm not going to. What? Everything's falling apart. Everything's going mad, I tell you. Everything's, excuse me, everything's going mad. Alright. Well, that was Half-Life Opposing Force. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I hope to see you next time for some uh, of the next Half-Life DLC, Blue Shift. Ciao!